Hi everybody and welcome back to part six on the custom e-bike build. In today's video we're going to be completing the frame with all the artwork. So the main frame we've got to do some prepping to get the base coat down on the back piece and we've got to do some silver up the frame here just to tidy up these little bits where there's going to be some little black bits showing. We've got the front part of the frame to do, the bottom casing, we've got the textures, we've got welds to do on that and then we've got a piece of text in the centre of that one and then you've got the top casing which is full piece of artwork, we've got textures and then we've got the welds to do on this one as well. Then we're going to move on to the back piece the one with the Yamaha logo on, we've got to do the blanking plates in the mirrored acrylic in these pieces here. So there's three pieces to go in there. They're all going to be cut to size and then glued into these pieces so they're all nice and secure. There's a little bit of extra to do on one of the side panels. I've got some text to drop on where the wires were coming through. I've got a little bit of text on there. So that's what's on the cards today. Fingers crossed we can get it all done. I'll stick you in some time lapses like before and I'll give you a little talk through along the way on how we're getting on guys. So I will see you in the first time lapse.
the frame is all back together and all the artwork is now complete. So what I'll do is I'll give you a little pan round and I'll give you a little talk through of what we've done and the next stage. Right, I'll just pop a picture up of what it was previous. So we started off in part one, we prepped all the frame and then we base coated all the pieces up in silver and we started off with Ford Moondust Silver on this. And then I dropped some black in and I started to do the textures down the frame so it gives you that steel look around the frame. And then we dropped in all the welds that went all the way around on all the pieces. To this side we've got the Biomech design and I've dropped the Yamaha Tuning Fork logo in the centre. We've done the bolts because these were bright red. So we've colour coded these all up to match the frame with the textures in. You've got cable coming out the frame there, going back in with a 3D drop shadow and then popping out here and I've dropped my logo in here. Moving down to the bottom, continuing with the welds and all the textures throughout this frame. I wanted to just keep the textures running all the way through. You've got the wire again coming out and going in and then you've got the Yamaha 5000E logo there and then all your textures go inside the swing arm all inside here running up they go all in here all at the back of the seat tube piece back down to the swing arm and then this side you've got the cable again coming out the frame and going back in the Yamaha 5000E all the welds are done all the way around you've got the welds coming up here and then to the seat piece here you've got the Yamaha logo with all the textures in, then I'll put the welds all the way around on this, so it's all framed in TIG weld. Moving to the LED panel, we chopped this out, and then I made a infinity mirror panel to go inside that. This actual panel inside is about 11 mil thick, so it's nice and slim line. And then I've dropped actual wire, that's picking out there, where this wire comes through here, it then goes actually inside and then I've sprayed the copper wires out in there to that side of my logo and then this side you've got another piece of wire coming across here so that would like go along here and then come out here and go around the frame. That's all colour changing, you can set that to what you want. Just a simple on off, runs on three AA batteries and they're in a tiny little box inside the frame. We've got the Screws that are all colour coded again all the way through to match the actual frame. Moving to the top, we've done the Biomech piece on the top and I've dropped the rivets and framed that. So you've got a piece of skull artwork in there and then the Biomech pattern coming down. So that finishes that one off. Then moving around to the front, we've got the head tube, textures again around the top. Candy gold the front badge and put the steel textures in that. Coming down to the bottom, I dropped the Yamaha logo in the bottom and then done two grills in there and then riveted on. We've got the textures, rust runs coming down. So that just finishes that bottom piece off. So that's all the artwork done guys on this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can join me in the next one when we strip all this down and we'll get this ready for clear coat, give it a really nice drop of clear. And then we're ready for the next stage, which will be the forks. They're gonna be a dual crown um, downhill fork on this. And the stanchions, bottoms and the tops are all gonna be painted in the silver to match. And there's gonna be artwork on the stanchion legs of that. Moving round to the rear shock, this is going to be a motorbike, like stubby type shop, big spring in the back. All this is going to be painted as well. So there's that to do. On the rear hub of the wheel, the wheels are going to go a bright silver, the actual rim. And then the rims are going to be candy blue. And then to the centers on the rear hub, that's going to be brushed steel. And then you're going to look inside the actual hub motor and you have to do all the intricate details inside as so you're looking inside the hub motor. So that's the way we're going to go, guys, on this. So I hope you can join me in the next one. I uh, hope you all have a great Christmas and a new year. And I will see you in part seven, which will be just after Christmas. And we'll get this clear coated up. 
So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.